Hey folks, welcome back. So today we are gonna work on doing a little bit of, I guess, clearing from brush clearing. So behind me here, you can see a brush pile. And this is actually in the hay field that we were working in in the last couple few videos. So all this stuff came out of this hillside. And as you can see, we've got some autumn olive and stuff popping back up through here. Uh, but a lot of it got torn out. My dad was working on this like a year ago. Um, now, as you can probably tell, it's raining out. It's been dry, really, really hot and dry for the last few days. So this stuff actually right underneath here should be pretty dry. I think it'll take off here, um, but having the rain going should also be nice to make sure we don't get anything else burning that we don't want. Well, it took a little bit of convincing to get it going, but as you can see, it's uh, it started, and I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about it going out now. Now, across the field, and I can't quite tell where it is. It might be like right there. Uh, there's another pile of stuff that my dad put over there that came from along the, uh, the creek. And I really don't wanna burn it down there because there's some really nice trees around where it is. I don't wanna get those all scorched and messed up. And then of course, I really don't wanna pull it out into the field and mess up part of my field. So I think, even though it's a good bit of hauling, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab uh, brush grapple fulls of that and bring it over here and start trying to add it to this thing. Well, this has been burning for probably four hours now. And as you can see, this is not anywhere as close to being burnt out. Um, I brought over probably 10 or 12 uh, grapple loads, grapple fulls worth of wood from the, uh, the pile on the other side of the field over here. And uh, some of that stuff was a lot bigger than I realized. I mean, as you can kind of see, there's some pretty good sized trunks in there. I think there were some uh, some dead trees alongside the creek that were starting to get a little bit rotten so they weren't really worthwhile for uh, for firewood so my dad just kind of stacked them up over there but they're big enough that they're taking a good while to burn down and there's still still quite a lot more left over there so I think we'll probably just kind of let this burn uh, burn overnight and there's definitely gonna be a lot of coals left over tomorrow, so we'll probably just pick right back up where we left and start bringing more stuff over here, piling it up, and maybe tomorrow we can get the rest of this stuff burn up. All right, well, this is gonna be day two of doing some burning over here in the hay field. Uh, as you can see, it actually burnt down pretty well. We're gonna see if we can't kinda scrape all these little bits and pieces that are along the edges, uh, get all these piled back up onto the main pile here, get that going, and then we'll go back to Holland, I, I really can't see where it is on the screen. I think it's right there. All that stuff, bringing all that stuff back over here, getting more piled up on here and getting all this stuff burned up that's in the hay field. So while that pile burns down a little bit, I brought the International and the, the uh, baler over here near the mill house and we're going to drop the baler off here. We're going to get the brush hog hooked up to the International and then we're going to head up into the back pasture. Alright, so when we were up here, I don't know, a couple months ago doing some clearing, uh, we've got a couple piles that are kind of over there. Uh, they need to get burnt up, but the main thing that needs to be burnt up back here is this thing right here. And I'm not sure how well you can really tell the scale of this, but it's probably like 15 or 20 feet tall. It's got a ton of cedar in it. In fact, that may be probably 90% of what's in there. We got some blackberry brambles and maybe a little bit of autumn olive, but just a ton, a ton of cedar. And uh, yeah, we got some autumn olive on the backside here. So 
This is stuff that my dad cleared out of here maybe a, a year or two ago. And it's just been sitting here ever since. So it is really, really dry. And then we've also got some other stuff over here. Um, I think what he said is that these are ones that are fairly straight. So if I wanted to try getting any uh, posts out of them, those might be ones to take a look at. But all of this stuff over here, that stuff is things that uh, need to be burnt. So we're going to run around here with the, the brush hog and get a good good kind of wide berth around this pile and knock all the dead grass down so that hopefully uh, nothing spreads uh, and, and catches the mountain on fire here. There we go. How's that for perspective? So the tractor, that is about 10 or 11 feet tall. So the pile itself up to the top there, it, it's probably, yeah, close to 20 feet. It's, it's a big pile. And then of course, how long? I Gosh, it's got to be 60 foot long. Alrighty, so I got the 784 swapped out for the skid steer, so we're going to try getting this thing burning and uh, hopefully maybe we can get most of that out of here this evening. Alrighty, well my camera battery died when I was out the other night uh, burning up in the back pasture, but uh, we got that mostly burnt down. I was actually out until about 10 o'clock that night waiting for it to get down low enough that I felt that I could leave it unattended. Uh, but So it's been a, a day and a half now. Yesterday we had a bunch of rain come through and I wasn't really sure if the, uh, the piles were still gonna be hot or not, but we're down at this one here in the hay field. And, and as I think you can see, we still got smoke coming off from this one. And I can feel, feel the heat coming off from this as well. So we're gonna try kind of piling up some of this stuff that's still down, uh, that didn't get burned up before, kind of the ends of stuff. And then we've still got a little bit of stuff left over there that I want to try clean it up that as best as possible because hopefully here in the next week or two uh, we're going to be putting a fence all the way along down through here so I really want to get that part uh, cleaned up before the fence goes in the way. So this over here is just kind of a, a whole mess of stuff so uh, one thing that my dad did is there was a bunch of ash trees through here and so uh, he would uproot them of course ash are dead they're getting killed off by the uh, the emerald ash borer and but they've got they're good solid you know firewood if, if they aren't starting to rot yet so for the ones that weren't starting to rot he would uproot the ash tree lay them over he'd chop them up into firewood and then he was piling the stumps over here so we ended up with a bunch of dirt and a bunch of real small twigs and stuff and then of course we got all these these stumps and stuff too so what we've got left here is sort of a mess. Uh, it's stuff that was, you know, the rotten stuff, the stumps, little branches, kind of like, I guess I already said. Um, and so it's, I've gotten the worst of it, but as you can see, we still got some. So I'm going to try cleaning up as much of this as I can. Uh, throw it over on the pile over there. I got that stuff pushed together. It is really greasy up there too. Uh, with that rain and then it was already kind of torn up from being up there before it is it's slick It's really slick, but anywho uh, Try and get this area cleaned up a little bit and then uh, we'll head on back up to the back pasture and see what we got left up there All right. Well, we got that pretty well piled up now I got most of that stuff over there cleaned up So I'm gonna head on up to the back pasture and we'll see uh, see what's left up there and see if we can get that all burnt down as well well compared to what we started with this is not too bad. Uh, definitely still got some stuff down here at this end. Looks like, looks like we got quite a few stumps maybe that are in here that haven't, uh, haven't really burnt down, but a little bit of autumn olive, but all in all, this is at least probably 90%, 95% burnt up. So let's see if we can't get this piled up. The skid steer is really low on diesel. So uh, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna do with this. 
but I may try bringing some of the uh, the stuff that we cleared out like a couple months back start hauling some of that over here and piling it up on there um, see if we can get some of that burn up as well Alrighty, so I've decided I want to try doing a little bit of brush hogging back here in the back pasture. Um, we got, it's just a mess up here. Uh, none of the cattle have been back here since the MVP pipeline came through. So stuff has just really been growing up over the last few years and I haven't gotten back here and really done anything with it. So I'm gonna see if we can't knock some of this back. Uh, eventually I'll probably have to do some spraying to get some of the like the brambles and stuff like that knocked back I really don't like doing spraying if I don't have to but it's just it's such a mess that I think I'm probably gonna need to but this will at least get stuff back for the time being and then maybe later this year I'll come through like with the the Massey Ferguson and put the sprayer on there and try spot spraying a little bit of stuff back here Well, it certainly looks just a little bit better back here now with the uh, field brush hogged about as much as I can get it. I didn't show going up on the hill there because that was a bit of a, a bit of a maze going up through there because there's so many uh, autumn olive and, and whatnot up through there that I can't go over with the brush hog that I was doing a whole lot of stuff like that uh, going up there trying to knock back. Um, blackberries and grass and whatever the weed is, wing stem, goldenrod, something. Uh, going in and out trying to get all that in and there's a whole bunch up above this area too that you can't even see from down here that I was uh, knocking back a little bit too. But the next thing of course is just going to be to bring the skid steer and start clearing out all this autumn olive in here. There was a few down here lower that you can see I didn't get as well but I think that's that's about gonna do it with the brush hog up here for now. Alrighty, so to wrap up this video, we're gonna do a little bit more burning. We're back here in the back pasture again, all nicely brush hogged. And we're gonna work on trying to take some of this stuff and throw it on our existing burn pile there. Um, again, we're doing a little bit of toting, but it gets rid of having another burn pile back here that we're gonna have to level out and, and deal with that sort of stuff. So I'll get you guys set up here somewhere I'm not really sure and I'll start hauling stuff over and getting it burning. Alrighty folks, well as you can see, we got the fire going. It took a little while for it to get going. Uh, that stuff was a bit wet, but it finally got dried out enough that it, it's uh, obviously, it's going pretty well there. It, it likes that cedar. I'll probably add on a little bit more here after a while, but uh, we're pretty much done for the day with, uh, with this project. So that is gonna do it for this week's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.